Hello friends, welcome to Foxy Tech. So today we're going to see another interesting topic on Kubernetes, which is nothing but troubleshooting issue between the two applications. So let's jump into the demo and let's see the what is the scenario we're going to cover it in this video. So let's assume you have a Kubernetes cluster and there you are running with the two applications, either it can be a, um, any application, uh, it can be a service or it can be a database if you're running a database on the Kubernetes, any case, right? So that is two things and unfortunately there is something got broke. So when, when you're trying to establish a connection between the <coughs> Kubernetes cluster, so unfortunately, there is no connection between these applications, okay? So you have to troubleshoot this issue and identify the cause and you have to fix it. So in this video, we're going to see identifying the case for this issue and we're going to fix it and we'll understand that how it can be fixed, okay? So let me quickly log into my Linux box and then we'll see the how we can see the issue. So I have pushed... I have already two deployments. So let me show you the deployment. So I have this primary application on alpha namespace. I'm gonna check it on the alpha namespace. There you can see there is a alpha app and which is running with the two already two pods and all are running. It's everything is smooth, okay? So this manifest I have stored in my JIT repo. You can go to the GitHub, GitHub Foxytech repo and you can browse this and you can practice yourself. All right, so let's dig into that and uh, let's understand what is the issue now. So deployment wise, there is no issue now. So let's check the pods on the alpha namespace and see what is happening. So, for now, so the application, the pods are running fine. So there is no even issue, but still there is uh, some connection issue, right? So let's check quickly the describe option and see if there any events are reported, right? So we can see that using kubectl describe pod, and I'm gonna pick one of the pod here and it's in the namespace of alpha. I'm going to check it on the namespace. Okay, so there is no error or something. So we can't see anything failure here. All are looks good. Like, so there is no error or any failure note here or any restart count also we didn't see. Okay, so that could be something else. Let's quickly check the logs of the particular part. So that may help us to understand what is happening in some cases. So kubectl logs and I found again alpha for the namespace. If you have a multiple container, you may need to use hyphen C with the container name. So in this case, I can I can see there is an error when it's trying to resolve some beta app application and it's failing with it's unable to resolve. Okay, so this understands like a DNS issue now. Okay, so as I said, if you have containers, you can use a <clears throat> iPhone C to C particular container in case if you are running with a more than, more than one containers in a pod. So how you can do that? You can use the, this. So I'm running a busy box in this one. So let me show you that. This is how you can run this command. All right, so this command, we understand there is something TNS issue. So we need to identify where this beta app is coming from, okay? So let's see that. So to see that, what we can do, we can see kubectl <clears throat> get pod. If um, oh, YAML. I'm going to see the output of YAML and see that what is happening. Sorry, if I'm um, alpha. All right, so with this, we can see a detailed explanation about the pod and we're going to see what is happening here, right? So let's start from starting and there is a pod and we have to jump into the spec, on the spec. So we can see there is a container section and they are trying to do something curl to the beta app. 
So this could be some service that I'm trying to pull it. So let's check the service in this namespace and see what why it's not responding. Okay. So I'm gonna say kubectl get for checking a service kubectl get svc and we gonna check in the alpha namespace. Ah, okay. So there is no service in this particular namespace, but still it has been defined. Okay, so before that, let's quickly check is there any other namespace available on this cluster? So you can see there is alpha, OCD, beta, default. Okay, out of default one, there is a three or three services. Argo CD, it will be like it has a mostly the naming prefix of Argo CD. So I don't think so. That could be a cause. Maybe this could be due to beta namespace. Let's check quickly. This is the beta app is there on the beta namespace. Okay, I'm gonna check again the SVC and hyphen n. And I'm gonna check the beta. Cool. So you can see there is an issue on the beta app that is available on the different namespace. So that is the issue here. So why what is the issue here? So when you define with the cross name space, the pattern has to be fully qualified domain name. If you define just a service name, it won't work. So if you are running the service on same namespace, in that case, yes, beta name, beta if an app is fine, you no need to mention any kind of a fully qualified domain name. But when you are doing a cross namespace, this is not a correct pattern. Okay, so now we understand the cause because it's in a different namespace, the application cannot be reached or it's not able to resolve the particular domain. All right, how we can fix this? So we can fix it via two way. If you have existing manifest, so you can use this manifest and you can correct or even you can edit in the running pods but editing in the running pod is not recommended always because this is already broken issue and we know that the command is no more valid right so in this case we let's maintain the valid file in our repository or wherever we are managing so tomorrow if someone comes and running this script uh, the manifest so they may not able to face the same issue whatever they are running right okay so what um, we have to do? So we have to correct this domain name, right? So what is the pattern? The pattern is you have to give the service name first dot and which namespace it receives. As it's in the same cluster, the namespace is beta. It has to be beta dot. And then you have to give svc dot cluster dot local. Sorry local so this is a fully qualified domain for any cross cross namespace services okay this is how you should define if you are facing a similar issue check this namespace is valid one if not please correct as per that so the pattern again i'm telling the service name is first then the namespace comes then it comes to svc cluster dot local all right so let's quickly save this and I'm going to apply this change. Deployment is my file name. I'm applying this. So let me quickly check pod iPhone and alpha. So you could see there is a old one getting terminated and new one is coming up. Correct. So when we see the old one, we were seeing this could not resolve error. So let's quickly check now. Is there, is there any error or something or is the valid response is coming? So cube blocks and, and the namespace is alpha. You can see now it's able to resolve the domain and we can we are getting nginx response. It's a well and good. So with this, we have troubleshoot that the issue what we have faced and we understand the cross namespace one. We have to define it with a fully qualified domain name. Just name res reference, it won't help us to fix the issue or it won't help help to establish a connection between two application in different namespace. Hope this video is useful guys. If you like, please hit like and also please share with your friend. If you didn't subscribe, please subscribe us. And we are trying to put such a, such a good videos or good topics 
which will be help you to troubleshoot any issues on Kubernetes. So we'll, there will be a regular updates on Kubernetes and regular random videos will be posted. So please do support. And also you can visit our portal, foxutech.com. So the portal, we are publishing a good articles on a regular basis. So if you like, you can follow us and keep visit the page. So this will have a good information on the latest technologies and we, we, come, we try to cover most of the recent tools and also how to troubleshoot the guides everything we will be posting in this okay or if you like to spend more time on the social media so please follow us on instagram so we do post a lot of important suggestions or a lot of uh, troubleshooting commands so with this command even you can fix the issues or the commands you can learn it daily basis so that will help you to earn gain more knowledge on the technology whatever you are working on thank you guys again so have a great day bye bye keep learning